the European Euclid Telescope, weighing around two tons, holds a great promise for scientists. It represents the first mission exclusively dedicated to studying dark energy and dark matter. Are these terms unfamiliar to you? Don't worry, we'll explain everything in today's episode. On July 1st, Falcon 9 launched from SLC-40 Launchpad in Florida at 1512 Universal Time. The Euclid Telescope carried the most significant scientific payload ever lifted by Falcon rockets. Originally, Euclid was not planned to fly on the Falcon rocket. The initial plan was for a Soyuz rocket launch, with the backup option being the Ariane 6, version 62. However, due to the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the use of Russian rockets became impractical, and Ariane 6 is not yet ready. Hence, the European Space Agency used the services of SpaceX. The first stage of Falcon embarked on its second mission and successfully landed on the A shortfall of Gravitas offshore platform. The second stage initially reached a parking orbit. 17 minutes after liftoff, the second burn significantly elongated the orbit. The Euclid telescope separated from the second stage approximately 41 minutes after launch. Ground control awaited the first signal from the telescope, which arrived a few minutes after separation, bringing relief to everyone at the mission control center. Euclid will now fly for 30 days to the Sun-Earth Lagrange Point 2, also known as L2, around which it will orbit. We will talk more about the instrument equipment of the Euclid telescope in a future episode. What's important is that Euclid will be able to observe galaxies up to 10 billion light-years away in one-third of the sky. This will help scientists understand dark energy and dark matter, which make up the majority of the universe but cannot be directly observed. Euclid will study their influence and effects on surrounding galaxies. Thank you for watching another episode of Spaceflight News. If you use Twitter, you might be interested to know that our show has its own profile on this platform. Simply click the link in the video description.